Today on Quick Hitters, we're going to learn how to play the 007 James Bond theme song. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to play the theme song for the 007 James Bond movies. This is a great song. It was written by Monty Norman and it was performed by the John Barry and Orchestra Band. They were a swing band, a jazz band, kind of a surf band. You know, back in the early 60s, they were uh, experimenting a lot with swing and surf. It was very cool, very funky. Uh, the guitar part was played by Vic Flick on a 1939 English Clifford Deluxe guitar through a Fender Vibrolux amplifier. So there's some interesting guitar facts for you. I read that um, Vic Flick only made six pounds for playing this guitar part. <laughs> so talk about the, the lowest payment for a, a guitar session for probably the most famous guitar part <laughs> that you could think of. Uh, but anyways, uh, I also read that that uh, Monty Norman between the years of 1979 and 1999 made about 600,000 pounds in royalties just off of this song. Um, so I don't know why there wasn't any more updated information on that, but I'm sure it's it's well surpassed that as long as he's retained publishing. So great song. It's been in every James Bond movie since its release, uh, since James Bond came out. Um, the B-side to this song was a song called Blacksmith Blues, and you can hear it on YouTube. And it's, it's pretty cool, man. There's some pretty neat uh, little surf guitar solos in there. So I kind of like this swing, swingy type uh, 60s stuff. It's, it's fun. It's pure. And uh, it's pretty catchy to play. And I think we can learn a lot from these licks and it It'll get you out of your comfort zone on the fretboard, maybe, and, and you can be inspired to learn how to play some new stuff and uh, enjoy the guitar a little bit more. So without further delay, let's take a look at this song. Okay, so this song is in E minor. And uh, the, main, the main theme of the song is that... So what he's doing is he's taking an E minor, and we're just taking the B, and we're going to a C, and then to a C sharp, back to a C. And you can do this many different ways. I mean, you could go... I messed that up. But I like to take the open E minor chord, like that, and then just play the, the C with my, my pointer finger, and then the C sharp with my ring finger. And then you can arpeggiate. So what I was doing there was strumming down the E minor and then going, then upstrokes. Have some fun with it, right? And then uh, the, the other riff goes. So I've got this twangy sound. I'm kind of I'm blending between both of my pickups. I'm trying to replicate the, the real twangy sound that they get on the record. And you can pick way close to your bridge also and go. Just to give it some of that really uh, cool uh, surf vibe and it kind of accentuates the theme and and probably what's going on in the movie gives it kind of a little bit of personality gives it some excitement which is the key to any session player out there you got to make that part come alive and use your tools to make it speak you know make those black dots on the the page come to life so to speak so what I'm doing is I'm going low E and I'm going up to this this F sharp Back down to a low E. Then we're gonna go, which is F sharp to a G. 
Back down to E. He goes back down. So we're going. So let's take that again. And what that is is the D string on the first fret and releasing it down to an open, open D. So slowly. That is, is a B A B. Now this next part gets a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show the tablature on the screen, of course, and it sounds like this. So what you have to do is you got to feel that swing that dotted eighth note so we're going in slow motion with a tablature this chord is like this and I'm kind of letting these notes ring out so you can kind of hear the tonality of the chord that we're outlining hammer on on that G string all right then we're gonna bring that same thing up one octave but we're gonna play it up here One more time. All right, cool. Then there's this little this little jazz thing that he does with his thumb. He's kind of just doing this West Montgomery style thing where we're gonna do octaves on the E. And we're going to play E, F, G, and we're going to go. Basically what I'm doing is I'm playing these octaves and I'm palm muting, or not palm muting, but I'm holding the, 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 the fingers of my hand over the strings. So the only thing you're hearing is that octave and I'm lightly grazing the strings with my thumb. And I'm doing this with my, my pointer finger and the riff goes like this. So what I'm doing is I'm just going E, F, and then G, but I'm going... Okay? And then there's this chord. So what that is is an E sus2 with a B on the bass, and I go... Okay, so that whole riff goes. Very fun. And then it goes back to the. Cool, so the very ending, when it comes to the finale, is the coolest part. It goes. 
just like the beginning. And we're going to take that chord shape and go. And then we're going to bring it up here. And then we're going to take this chord shape from the octave riff that we did earlier. And then this chord. So what this chord is, it's essentially a, an E minor chord. But we're going to add this, this second, or this third to it. And then we're going to go. So it's just, And that's the note that really makes it sound juicy. It's that seventh. So it's... It's essentially an E minor with a B major chord mixed over it. It's very harmonic minor. Very exotic, so. And we're gonna play all six strings. So the ending is. So there you go, Quick Hitters 007, James Bond theme song. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out.